Thank you for joining us tonight for the Relay for Life of Joe Dot's first virtual event. We want to start off by giving some thank yous and some shout outs. First, we'd like to thank our cancer survivors, the reason we relay. And for those of you who registered, we really hope you enjoyed the little goodie bag we left on your porches in the last couple days. Thank you for allowing that. We'd like to thank our sponsors. And as you can see on the slide here, we had quite a few and we are really proud that they were able to continue sponsoring us this year. Thank you. And to our relay teams that helped us fundraise all the money we raised tonight and throughout this year. Special mention to the team, the village people, Amy Grant's the team captain, and they let us go live from their campsite on their driveway. Thank you so much. I'd like to go ahead and recognize next our top fundraising teams. In very particular order, we'll start from the top with Happy Feet, who raised over $3,500, and Ashgrove Strong, who raised over $2,800, and the Yellow Ribbons, who's raised over $2,700. Thank you to those three teams for your very, very strong efforts in helping us fight cancer. Um, next, we'd like to acknowledge our top fundraising participants. These are the individuals who raised the most money. Starting at the top, um, Wendy Kaufman Stanley raising over $3,100. And Nancy Meyer raising over $2,800. Uh, lastly, Juanita Jestla raising over $2,600. As you can see on those two slides, we really have some champions here. Thank you for supporting us in this virtual platform. This was not how we began our planning process for the 2020 Relay for Life of Joe Dot, but the planning committee worked very hard to carry through with the emotion that we all feel with an in-person event and translate that to the screen. We hope you agree with us. We will be back together soon enough in person at the Kansas Speedway to fight cancer together. Until 2021, thank you Relay for Life of Joe Dot.